Well, a very good morning from Phuket. Today is Tuesday the 9th of June, which means officially the beaches have now opened here on the island of Phuket after being closed on the 28th of March, a little over two months. So today we're going to go around and take a look at some of the more popular beaches right here on the island. So grab yourself a coffee and I will be right back after this. Well, our first mode of transport for the day is going to be Charlie. Now, some of you will know what I'm referring to when I talk about Charlie. This is actually our sidecar and scooter, which we use for taking Shadow a walk. Now, she hasn't been down to any beaches for just over two months or the park, because at the moment, even though parks are open, they're not allowing dogs. So let's now grab Shadow and go to our first beach on the list, which is Anyon. Well, we've just arrived down at Anyon Beach and as you can see, the beach is certainly not crowded. The government was worried about crowds coming down to the beach when they initially first opened them here in Phuket, but I don't see any crowds. Now, the reason why I come to Anyon and we've started at Anyon is because it's a little bit quieter normally, so this allows me to release Shadow and let her run around the beach without disturbing too many people. So this is why this beach is the first port of call today. But we're going to look at some other beaches as well on the island, very popular ones. Nahan Beach, Kata Beach, Karon Beach and of course Patong. Obviously that's going to be a little bit further into the video. I'm going to tell you where Anyon is and how to get here if you're interested in coming to this beach. As I've said, this is a little bit more quieter beach, one of my favourite beaches because of that fact it's very close to Cape Panwa in fact Cape Panwa is just behind me a few minutes on a scooter but this is located between Cape Panwa and a place called Kokad now I've come down this morning on the coast road there's two ways to come you can come along the coast road heading towards Kokad and then make your way from Kokad down to Anyon lovely road very picturesque very nice scenery not so good for us because we're in Charlie today Charlie struggles with the hills it's only a 100cc scooter or you can come down the main road heading from Phuket town towards Cape Panwa and then turn off when you see the signs for Anyon. Later in the day we're going to swap over onto the PCX to do the rest of the journeys. We haven't yet got a train to go on that bike, something that I'm going to be looking at in the future, seeing whether we can get her to sit on the PCX. So it allows us to take her to a lot more different locations. Now the opening of the beaches has seen some new regulations come into force here locally in Phuket unfortunately and of course the government expect people that visit the beach to follow the regulations that they've set down. If people choose not to follow these regulations then it can be enforced by fines varying from 20,000 baht up to a maximum of 100,000 baht or and a prison sentence of one year. So some quite harsh penalties for those who wish to break the rules. Again, I'm gonna say that is down to everybody's own personal choice, but they should be aware that there are acts in place under the Communicable Disease Act, section 51 and 52 that covers this. Okay, so what are these five rules? Well, I'm gonna quickly run through them and then I shall break them down. The first one is they expect the beaches to be cleaned. The second one is they expect all people that are on the beach to be wearing a face mask. The third one is they expect all people visiting the beach to clean their hands. The fourth one is social distancing. And the fifth one is no crowding on the beach. So let's now break that down. The first one being the beach cleaning. I guess this is referring to the workers for the government that take care of the beaches. They want to see the beaches cleaned on a daily basis, which is a good thing in my opinion. The second one, the wearing of the face masks. Now, I've spoken about this before and it is mandatory, compulsory and part of law here in Phuket that you should wear a face mask at all times when you're away from your own own property, your own home, um, in public spaces, regardless of whether people 
are around you or not. And there are some quite harsh fines varying from 20,000 baht up to 100,000 baht. And believe it or not, you could even receive a prison sentence of up to one year. So as I mentioned before, if people choose not to wear the masks, that's their choice. They have to deal with the consequences if they are unfortunate enough to be in an area, regardless of whether there's people around or not, and the police see you not wearing it, you could be looking at some very severe penalties. Now, while we're talking about masks, how practical that is here on the beach, I, I honestly don't know. I'm not saying I'm against it, I'm not saying I'm for it. I'm just saying I don't know how practical it is. Whilst I'm not in the sea, of course, I can wear a mask when I'm just walking along the sand. But of course, if I wanna go swimming, I need to take my mask off. I'm not gonna go in the water with my mask. It's gonna get ringing wet. So again, how flexible these rules are gonna be, only time will tell so it's down to the police officers to decide on whether they want to enforce the rules and re regulations of course personally i don't want to take the risk not when i'm just on the beach and i'm not intending to go in the water i will personally wear a mask i do i make it a habit i don't think it's a big issue to wear a mask honestly and a lot of people that i see not wearing a mask are actually foreigners now talking about the hand cleaning as stated in rule three not sure how they're going to do this i haven't seen any evidence of any hand cleaners provided down at the beach areas of course this is the first beach i've visited so i'm going to be looking at the other beaches and see whether there is any hand cleaners gel supplied at any of the beaches they may just be expecting people to bring their own but there is also talk that they may introduce the qr codes down here at the beach as well again how practical this is i'm not really sure and then the fourth rule is, of course, social distancing. They do expect people to keep apart from each other. So give a bit of space between people. Well, honestly, I don't think that's going to be an issue at the moment looking at Anyon Beach because there's not too many people down here. I know the government were worried about some issues of people rushing all down to the beach because they've been closed for two months just over but I haven't seen so far evidence of that, not here on Anyon Beach. And then the fifth and final rule, which is crowding on the beaches, which is basically the same as the social distancing. If the government officials see large crowds on the beach, they have the right to close down that beach and ask everybody to leave the beach immediately. So those are the five new rules that we're having to deal with as we're going forward now here in Phuket as part of the opening or reopening of the beaches here. So in a moment we're going to make our way over to Nahan Beach which is the second beach on today's list. First of all we're going to need to call in home, drop off Charlie and Shadow, pick up the PCX and then make our way over there. We've just arrived down here at Nahan Beach and already I can see there's quite a few more people here than I was actually expecting so we're going to take a quick look on the beach. I have noticed the waves are quite big today, quite rough seas. We have had some storms over the last few days. In fact, today is the first day that it's actually stopped raining in the last two days. So I'm quite pleased about that, which has allowed me to come out and, of course, do the filming today. So let's now go and take a look at the beach. So quite busy down here by the looks of it, quite a few people about. Now this is the first beach that I've actually seen the hand gel being supplied. Of course this morning when we was down at Anyon there was no hand gel on that particular beach but of course that is a smaller beach. Nahalm is very much a more popular beach and I do want to mention that a lot of the foreigners have been complaining about the beaches here in Phuket being closed and the one thing I want to say is it doesn't matter whether you're staying here for a long period or a short period you still are only a guest of Thailand and as a guest you should act accordingly and should do your very best to abide by the laws because these laws if you decide to break the law no matter how minor these offenses may be at some point in the future that could seriously affect your visa application So a little bit disappointed because I have noticed this morning that most here are not opting to wear masks and it is mandatory on the beach to wear them. As I've said, it's down to people's choice if they want to wear it, then that's up to them as regards the fines. But I can already see lots of foreigners here, not many Thai people here, nobody wearing masks. 
Now, of course, the government may decide that because of the situation, they now want to close the beaches again. In fact, I cannot see a single person wearing a mask. Now, I'm sure the government officials are going to be doing some checking on the beaches and they will be monitoring the situation regardless of what people think. And as I've mentioned, it doesn't really matter your personal opinion and how you feel when you're out in a public place. Currently, it is mandatory to wear face masks here in Phuket and all the foreigners that I've seen today are not wearing them. Yet, it's the foreigners that have complained about the closure of the beaches. Well, in a short while, we're going to shoot, shoot over to Qatar and see what the situation is over at Qatar. But ho honestly, if it's anything like what I can see down here at Nahal, I'm sure this situation is going to change very quickly here on the island. And the government may decide to reclose the beaches because exactly what the government said would happen is happening here. And this is one of the reasons why the beaches have been held closed for so long in Phuket because unfortunately people don't take the rules seriously. They think for some reason it doesn't apply to them. Of course, today is the first day. Maybe some of these people do not understand the rules. And maybe they don't realize they're supposed to be wearing masks on the beach. I don't know. Well, I have to say, very disappointed down here at Nahan Beach, one of the main beaches here on the island. A lot of foreign people complain about the attitudes of Thai people. I'm going to have to say that these people need to look at their own attitude before complaining about other people's attitudes. Well, I've just arrived down at Kata Beach, so we're going to have a look at the situation down here. Now, at first glance, it doesn't look as busy as what we've just saw at Nahal. I can't see any hand gels where we've just parked up. The car park does run the whole length of the beach. So let's now go and see what the position is actually on the beach. I see a couple of people surfing today. Good waves for some surfing out there, that's for sure. So, as I mentioned this morning, there has been five rules set down for the opening of the beach. One of those rules was the wearing of face masks, which we've clearly seen that people are not abiding by. The first rule was the cleaning of the beaches. The beaches should be cleaned. Well, I don't see any evidence of any cleaning that's gone on this morning on Anyon Beach, first off. Not that it was very dirty, because it wasn't. But looking at Nahalm, I didn't see any evidence of any cleaning that had taken place on the beach. I may be wrong, of course. And again, on Kata, I can't see. Sorry? Oh, OK. OK, the, the lifeguard, he's carrying hand gel. He's just spoken to a gentleman about drinking beer on the beach. Sorry, Cap, good morning. Thank you very much. Okay, so this guy is one of the lifeguards and he's handing out the alcohol gel to clean your hands on the beach. So they have that down here. Nat, can you uh, ask this guy his opinion about the people wearing the face masks? Here they're wearing. Ask him about, um, we've just been to Nahan Beach and saw a lot on the beach that haven't been wearing the mask. Can you ask him what his thoughts are on that? Just his opinions. 
Not one person. No. Yes. Yeah. Crazy. I know. Crazy. Yeah. I understand. This can not save some people. You know. This can from Thai people. It's the same same morale. You know. It's the same thing. Well, clearly the lifeguard says that he thinks the people are crazy. Obviously, it's not his job to enforce the rules. He's just down here monitoring the situation at Cata Beach. It's nice to see that he's got some hand gels, so you're not having to bring your own. They are supplying some hand gels on some of the beaches. Now, Cata has surprised me this morning because it's not actually as busy as I thought it would be compared to Neyaharm of course. Very disappointed in the beach at Neyaharm with the people that are using it there. Straight away, first day, breaking the rules and regulations. Good morning. Uh, can, I, can I just ask you a couple of questions if you don't mind? Yeah, um, I've seen your YouTube channel, watching your video the other day. Yeah, um, first question I want to ask you because I've noticed it straight away. You've got a face mask but you're not wearing it. Can you tell me your opinions on the face mask? A crowded area might be okay, but and since since the lockdown has been you know lifted and we've all gone back to business, nothing's happened. No cases have gone up. It seems pointless. I'm washing your hands to come on the beach. I'm like, yeah, really? okay, yeah, I I, I, understand. I understand. They're putting some rules in place. And yeah. Unfortunately, I've just come from Nahar Beach, yeah, which that's is where I've just come from. right. Okay, so you've seen the position down there with. I don't think I saw a single person wearing a face mask. Cop and cap, thank you. I didn't see a single person wearing a face mask down there. And one of the rules is that we have to wear yeah, face masks yeah. on the beach. I understand it's going to be difficult when you go in the water yeah, yeah. And, and you want to do some swimming. Obviously, there's got to be some leeway in it, but not one single person was wearing a face mask no. for sitting on the beach. Now, the problem is, is a lot of the foreigners have been complaining the beaches have closed. The first day they've opened the beaches, who are the people that are breaking the rules? Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I agree with it or disagree. I try to stay impartial. I try to wear one. But here, walking on the beach, I don't see the point. You don't see the point. No, okay, that's a, no, no, that's a fair here. comment. Yeah. It's a fair comment. Yeah. Everybody has their own opinion. Um, but obviously, these, the laws are there. Do you know what the consequences could be if you are caught not wearing a mask? Yeah. Do you fine, actually? Isn't it? Yeah. Fine. Do you know how much the fine is? 20, it's actually a fine from 20,000 baht up to 100,000 baht and also one year imprisonment. Yeah, yeah. But is it not a rule about how close you are to someone? If you were so far away, can you take the mask off? No, because it's mandatory here in Phuket. It's ma mandatory to wear a mask any time you're out in a public place, whether there's people around or not, it's mandatory. Yeah, yeah. So again, a lot of people I mean, don't realise that. It's the same, always the same with rules. Common sense goes out the window, right? I totally agree. So, there has to be some common sense, but I'm just asking yeah. and wondering whether you actually know what the rules and the law yeah, is I currently. Know, I know, you have to wear it. There's signs everywhere. There's all signs in my apartment. Yeah, you okay. You wear a mask. That is fine. Yeah. Okay. But okay. Like, oh, if you was a certain distance away from someone, you could take it off. Because nice. Obviously. Yeah. No. Who are you spreading your I, I, to? Yeah, I know what you're saying and that's common sense. I don't disagree with what you're saying, but that isn't the way the Thai law works, unfortunately. The yeah, Thai yeah. law has said that like people... Like your hands with bacteria from on the beach. Yeah, I, I agree. That's... You know, salt water and everything. You know, I agree about this, and but... You're not going to be touching anybody or anything. Why do you need to clean your hands? Well, OK. Thank you very much for your time, anyway. No problem. Uh, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, OK. OK, well, we've just had an opinion from one of the people on the beach. I don't know him. He has seen my channel on YouTube, but I haven't spoken to him before. So that's his opinion on the rules and regulations. Of course, there has to be common sense, but how do you gauge the common sense? Personally, what I've just saw down in Neyaharm, I don't class that as common sense. There was quite a lot of people down there and not one person wearing a mask. At the end of the day, it's everybody's own choice. But I, personally, I find it a bit silly, especially on the first day that these laws have been put in place and people straight away are breaking the rules. So a little bit better picture down at Cata Beach, not quite as busy. There are people taking a little bit more care down here than what I saw at Neyham. 
We're now going to make our way over to Caron Beach and then from Caron we will make our way over to Patong. Of course, Patong, the main area in Phuket, so it's going to be interesting to see what the position is over there on the beach. Well, just before we leave Kata Beach, Nat's just been talking to me about what she was discussing with the lifeguard. Now, the guy in front of you that you can see in the water is actually swimming. And as you can see on the beach, the red flags are out. So that means no swimming. And Kata Beach, like Nahalm, does have some very bad undercurrents. Now, the lifeguard has actually spoken to this gentleman this morning and told him that he shouldn't be swimming because the red flags are out. And also, he's asked the gentleman not to drink beer. He's actually caught the guy drinking beer whilst in the water. So, again, people, I don't know what it is, whether it's just stupidity on people's behalf. Clearly, you can see the water's not very calm today. I know beaches have been closed for a long time, but unfortunately, we have had some bad storms over the last few days, and it's sort of whipped up the ocean. The waves are quite strong. This guy shouldn't be out there swimming because he's putting himself into danger and also is endangering the people that will then have to go and save him. The lifeguard has spoken to him. He's drinking alcohol on the beach, which isn't allowed, and also swimming as well. So again, some people, they just don't want to listen to the rules. And then when bad things happen, well, what can you say? Nat was saying that the only people that should be out on the water at the moment are people that are surfing. The lifeguard accepts the fact that people want to surf because of the waves. But normal swimming with red flags, they really shouldn't be out there. So I've just arrived now at Caron Beach. Riding down the road along the beachfront, quite some depressing scenes with all the businesses closed. Not many open along the beachfront at all that I've just noticed. But we've now just parked up in what I would call probably the main area, the main sort of parking. There is two areas. There's the southern area of the beach. From what I saw as we drove past the southern part, there wasn't a lot of people on the beach there at all. So I decided to come to the more northern end of Caron, which is as if you're going towards Patong, which will be our next stop. So we're just down here. Now there is some shops and restaurants, and uh, as you can see just over the back there, for people to use when they're open but currently every single one of those are closed and it is about one o'clock now just after midday one o'clock ish i believe few people on the actual beach not as many people down here as Nahom, kata and Caron, very much quieter few people mulling about not so many now i haven't noticed anybody giving out any hand gels here for cleaning your hands, unlike Kata Beach. I do see a lifeguard on duty over there, just putting out the red flags. Of course, the sea being very rough today. They don't really want people to be out in the sea swimming. A lot of the beaches here in Phuket on the western side of the island do have quite strong undercurrents when the storms and as you can see yourself the waves are quite large seeing people out surfing but the, the lifeguards here are concerned obviously when people are in the water when it's rough like this because of course if they get into difficulty then the lifeguard has also got to go out and try and save that person putting his own life in danger as well we do see cases of people drowning every year especially at this time of the year of course these beaches are popular with families you, know, you do have to be very careful with some of the beaches in Phuket in the low season pay attention to the flags they're there for safety so not too busy down here as I say no, probably not the best day to come to the beach but of course being the first day the beaches have been open in two months I guess people just want to come down and relax and there's nothing wrong in that well I've just arrived down here at Patong Beach we're going to start off in the southern part of the beach and then we shall move along a bit closer well 
virtually opposite to Bangla Road, which I believe is still closed, and also close to a police box up there. So it's going to be interesting to see the difference between the southern end of the beach and the northern end of the beach where the police box is. It's actually surprised me the last two beaches, Caron and this one. They don't seem as busy as I imagined them to be. You can see a lifeguard on duty here at Patong Beach. I don't see them giving out any hand gels, however. So, very, very quiet here on Patong Beach, especially in the southern end, quite surprising. So definitely a lot quieter than I was expecting down here in Patong. I thought this would be the busiest beach out of them all, to be honest. But so far, Nahum has proved to be a very, very popular beach this morning. Now, I can see a few people wearing the masks on this particular beach in front of me there. But I can also see a few people that are choosing not to wear. Difficult situation over here. At least the weather's picked up a little bit. I was expecting to have to dodge the showers today because of all the rain that we've had over the last two days. It did look very dull this morning and I thought great, want to go out and do some filming and it's going to rain. But fortunately it's got better as the day's gone on. However, we do need the rain here in Phuket of course. The reservoirs are running at a very low level at the moment and there was talk that we need three months of non-stop raining to actually fill up the reservoirs. So personally I hope we don't get three months of non-stop raining because that's not going to be great at all. But I understand that we do need the rain so the rain is welcome at the moment. Okay, I'm going to jump back on the scooter now and we're going to now make our way just down there, the northern end. Okay, well we've now just moved up towards the northern end of Patong Beach. I'm not all the way along, as I say, quite close to a Bangla Road. Bangla Road just over there, so just across the road there. And we are now near to the police box on the beach, as you just saw a police officer going for a little ride along the beach. Very surprised actually that this Patong Beach this morning isn't busier than what it is at the moment. Not as many people as I was expecting after seeing Nahom. That really surprised me. I wasn't expecting Nahom to be busy like that. Lovely beach here in Patong. It's lovely and clean at the moment because of course there's been no tourists on it for a while. So no rubbish. It does look like this beach has been cleaned this morning because I can see the marks running along it. So they may have used one of the machines to skim across the top of the sand. I'm not quite sure. But if it has been cleaned, then Patong Beach, from what I've seen, is the only one that has actually been cleaned today. Of course, one of the five regulations that the local government have set down here in Phuket. I've seen no evidence of anybody giving out hand gels, so I'm guessing they expect you to bring your own. So that brings me on to my final thoughts for today's video. Really pleased to see the beaches open here in Phuket. Not surprised that some people are not taking the rules seriously. Let's hope that doesn't have a detrimental effect on the beaches being reclosed here in Phuket. Not sure what to make about the hand gel situation. Not sure how many people will use it, but at least if the option's there, then it's down to each person's individual choice. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any comments, then please do leave them in the comments section down below. So from me at Patong, thanks for watching. And until next time, I will catch you on the next one.